What's up, everyone? It's Roll Call with Karina Nistal, episode two. And look who I'm here with, the beautiful, amazing Angie Cantu. So Angie, thanks for being here with me. Thanks for having me, Karina. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from and where you grew up? I am actually from the north side downtown off of Quitman in Maine on Gentry Street. I grew up there. Um, kind of everywhere after that, my teen years. So that's why I met a lot of people. That's how I met a lot of people. And you are very popular. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why does fashion and the art culture matter to you? Fashion, I think, to start it off with, and that's kind of what started my whole mm -hmm. career, uh, was um, basically my mom. My mom, growing up, always dressed us up, and we always looked like we had the most fashionable thing. But the thing behind all that was that we were poor and we didn't have a lot of money, but she took us to secondhand stores and just matched us all up. And every time we went somewhere, we just looked like the Kennedy family. And Aww. back in the early 70s and 80s, uh, he, he always had us dressed up really nice and always made sure I had the top brands no matter what she had to do. So in the 80s, the fashion era really grew up because I was my teen years and it was my favorite and I never grew out of it. So I'm still kind of there and you um You're yeah fly, always i don't fly. think i'm ever gonna grow out of it <laughs> i'm in the 70s and 60s too but i don't think i'm ever gonna grow out of it um and 60s because my mom and you know yeah. my family and their puffed hair and everything else but, yes um but in regards to the art the art kind of came out of the fashion i loved color i went to school to, to do to do fashion retail management because mm -hmm. i wanted to have my own boutique uh and then i, I was introduced to art and color and all the things that come with it. And um, then shortly after that, COVID happened. Mm. And uh, I had nowhere, nowhere else to go but to start making clothes and fringing uh, t-shirts and doing art. And yes. I started painting and everything just kind of combined together. And you were making masks for COVID. I sure was. I made a yes. lot you of masks. You had a nice mask business. <laughs> I did for Thank a while there. Thank you for taking care of the community. Yes, I did. I did. I, I thank everyone for coming out and supporting yeah. me as well. Um, yeah, all that took place in such a short time. Yes. Within a year, it's like I just went from fringing t-shirts to learning how to sew to becoming an, an artist and learning how to paint and just creating what came, came out of me from a deep a deep place in my life that during COVID I was able to open up that and yes. let it all come out. Discover the artist within you. Yeah, so <laughs> there's a lot behind it. We yes. can go very deep, but yes. yeah, that's pretty sweet. And that's pretty um, for those people who don't know, she's a, she's a designer, but she's also a stylist. Like I was styled by her today. Um. Um, and I made sure that I got styled by you today so that people could see that you do style and, and you have your boutique, your boutique open so that people can come mm -hmm. or, you know, just check out some of Get your pieces together. And, and ask you, ask you like, Hey, I want something eighties or I want something flowery or I, I mean, I've, I've gone to you several times for, for like wardrobe. Tell mm -hmm. us about, you know, how you style people too. It basically comes around to the person's unique style. You know, I try to create whatever they're about. I learn about them. And, um, you know, my client list is growing slowly, but it it's, it's important that you just don't go all over the place. Right. You know, you stick to your clients. You're, they're your friends, you know, the people, the community, whatever's happening. You know, I just kind of go with that and just try to shop around for I I was a shop, you know, I always liked being a uh, shopping, um, uh, what do you call that? Like, yeah, I forgot. Shopaholic. Yeah, well, I always love shopping. So yes. assistant, like help yes. you assist you yes. in shopping. So I've always done that for a long time with all my friends, even yes. in high school. Uh -huh. But uh, but yeah. And it's so much fun to yeah, shop it is. with her. <laughs> we have a blast. So you talked a little bit about your, your mom styling you and you have like a long line of beautiful women in your family. Who besides your mom influenced you and inspired you in fashion? Oh, um, Coco Chanel. Yes. Um, I think she was my favorite when I first learned her story. Um, I, I just, it, she had a lot going on that I, I kind of like. Yes, relate to. Relate it to. Yeah. And then going through, going through my fashion history course in college mm. when I went back to school, going all the way back to before BC, 
uh, and learning all the different fashion uh, eras and decades and all that was like extraordinary eye opening to me because oh, yeah. I now seen where all of it kind of came together and how right. it came together and and I'm a big movie of lover, a yes. big movie of movies, a lover of movies. Yes. Uh, and I love movies I and I love, mean. like, I watch like all the Audrey Hepburn yes. and all the 60s stuff. I'm real into the 60s and, you know, 70s era as far yes. as like disco and all that stuff. So, yeah. Yes. Um, so what are you working on now? What I'm working on now is continually building up my boutique. Uh -huh. um, my art, I'm still painting, although, you know, I haven't gotten on one yet because I have just tra basically just moved and right. had to get all of that together and get in the boutique together in the yes. bigger space. A lot of you knew me. Well, I lived in a small space before down East on this end. on the second in East End. We all love that boutique. We love that boutique. <laughs> I love that boutique. That, yes. that but the to new me one. was a life changer. The new one. Is yeah very spacious and there's a dressing room. Yeah, I have a dressing room now. Yes, so. I just changed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I'm, um, you know, it's basically going through all my jewelry and, you know, there's the whole big hype of like, oh my God, you know, like all this vintage clothing and it's yes. so hyped up so high, you know, I'm not into that. I'm right. just like, you know, whatever you can do, yes. you know, just kind of work. work with you. Yeah. You know, I try to sell the hype and it doesn't work. I'm like, you know what? I'm not worried. About it. I'm, what I'm worried about is helping people be fashionable yes. and helping them with their needs, especially people Styling. like you, like, you know, like you and, and cause I need help with my style. No, that's not that you need help, but <laughs> Sometimes you're, I do. I'm like, you're, you, you, know. you know, you're on the run, you're on the go all I the am. time. And you know, sometimes you might need a blouse or something and I'm I there, do. you know, I'm there like, come get it, come pick God it up. For this lady. Yeah. You know, Thank I God just want to be there for people. And yes, and you, you know. are, and I'm, I'm so grateful for her. That's why I wanted to definitely, you know, show, give a little bit of, shed a little light on you, Thank you know, you, and what you do. So, you know, you, you are a jewelry designer, a fashion designer, a, um, stylist, a, a painter. I mean, I'm, I would love to go back to the boutique, the studio and just see some of your work. Can you show us? Sure. Of course. Okay. Okay. We're back at the Gigi boutique. These are some of her beautiful works, some of her paintings, masterpieces that she's worked on, and there's so much more. I'm just going to show you some of all clothing, boutique, hair. I mean, Gigi, we love this place. It's all your vibes, baby. Thank you. Gigi, thank you so much for a tour of the boutique. Thanks for coming I in. I love it. Thank you. Tell us where we can find you. You can find me on Instagram at ggjewels.uniqueboutique. It's Y-O-U-N-I-Q-U-E boutique. Okay. Um, then also I have an art page, which is ggjewels.art. And okay. then, of course, my Fringe City uh, clothing line is ggjewels.fringecityclothing. So that's pretty much the three that are right now. Make sure you follow her. Don't let her out of your sight. And if you need a stylist, this is your lady. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Karina.